Almighty Father will worship you and reference you. Thank you for the salvation of our soul. And through grace, you purify us in sanctification. And we are separated to the gospel to preach, to soothe, to nurture them in the way of the Lord. And at the end, all of us will be lifted up forever. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this Sunday Soul Intercessory Prayer again. Praise the Lord. After what God has done in our last period um, program, the Reach the World Outreach, Reach the World with the Light, 20, March 26, 27, 28, we are very happy. For God touched various areas and we learned how to do things better. So today we are looking at Psalm 28, verse 9. And the topic that we are looking at is interceding for soul, the patient. Don't read many to it. Let the Holy Spirit teach us, please. God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, because I can see that you are, what has to No, be, be patient, calm down. The Bible says, let him that read it take it. The Bible says, and then in the Bible after that, says, take it how you read. Take it how you hear. Because it is those who hear, who speak, and keep the doer that will be justified. Listen, calm down. So that you have understanding of the kingdom through the word of the Holy Spirit. I read from Psalm 28 verse 9. It says, save thy people. Can you see the intercessory aspect? Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. When you save them, they become your inheritance and bless them. Feed them also because when souls are saved, they need to be fed physically, spiritually, and in other ways. Some need one thing or feed them, supply them, and lift them up forever. They'll be eternally lifted so that actually in the rapture, all of us be lifted up. I love this. So our prayer and intercession is for souls to be saved, the people be saved, and they are blessed in the inheritance, and they are fed spiritually fed, physically, so that they will have things in them according to the word of God as we supplicate and we shall be lifted eventually. Three points we want to see today. One, salvation, the will of God. Number two, supplication as the word, the word grant. I mean the word of God, the scripture grants. Number three is surplus well-being for the godly. Surplus well-being for the godly. When we say godly, it is those who are saved, even if we are saved today, we, we speak the word God to do. We pray for you and you are saved. And when you are saved, you join the godly. Godliness uh, is godliness come after salvation because the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. So teaching us to be godly. So you now become godly from the teaching after salvation that the grace continues in. So point number one is salvation for the salvation, the will of of God. How do we know that? Let's go to First Timothy. Open the Bible with me. First Timothy. Please open the Bible and follow and let's land from the word of God. First Timothy chapter 2. I read from 3 to 7. Pay attention. We are looking at salvation, the will of God. He said, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. Who we have all men to be saved. The Savior were meant to be saved. So I myself be concerned about my own salvation, if I'm saved, then others. He said, um, who we have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, not fake truth, not lies truth, not naturally the one that you, a carnal orchestrated way of a religion, no, truth. He said in verse 5, for there is one God, one mediator between God and men and the man Christ Jesus. If we have Jesus Christ as the mediator, then just go to him in interceding and that the grace of God will get more souls to the kingdom. Verse 5, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, and men, the man Christ Jesus. Verse 6, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. If he does want us to be saved, he will not give himself. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believed there's opportunity for all men to be saved. Whosoever, anywhere, any race, any tribe, any ethnic ethnicity, any country, any continent, and whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You are there. Do you have opportunity to be saved? Come to Jesus and he will save your soul. 
to we are expecting you to be part of them that be granted eternal life in Christ. And that's in verse 7. We are unto I am ordained a preacher. Hallelujah. That's the essence we are called to preach the truth. Ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ. Do you speak the truth when you are combated? Is it truth you are speaking? I speak the truth in Christ and I lie not. My dear word, because liars go to hell, I lie not. Because liar will not have part in the lake of them. We will not have part with God. Liar have their part in what is not good, in that place that is not actually according to the will of God. He said, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. Verity means, verity means that means assuredly, sincerely, truly in verity. Now, let's look at it. Am I going to now start to actually have, when God have a man to be saved, Jesus wants people to be saved, for God commended his love to us in that why were you a sinner, Christ died for the ungodly. Now, because people will not even want to die for their friend, for good person, for Jesus Christ died for the ungodly. If that is the case, if God wants all men to be saved, stand up, rise up, and let us go and win souls for Christ. And you need to intercede Pray before we go. Pray always and pray for all men. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Point number two is supplication as the word grant, as the scripture grant, as the word of God, word of life grants us that we have to supplicate. Because in the way we, in our text, it's very glaring that he told us in verse 9, that is um, this Psalm 28 verse 9, that save thy people, that is intercession. Save thy people, that's prayer. Supplication, he said, bless thine inheritance and feed them also. And lift them up forever. Let's now look at um, the word of God in verse 1 to 2. We are looking at supplication as the word grant. First Timothy chapter 2, 1 to 2. It said, Exhort therefore, and first of all, supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks to be mean for all men. Actually, all men, we need to pray for them to come to the knowledge of Christ for kings. For all that are in authority, that ye may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. As you are praying, you are living to prove that you are a child of God. And God will help us as we do that in Jesus' name. Let's now go and see verse 8. He said, I will therefore that men pray everywhere. When he say men, because the prayer of the, the, the sinners is abomination to the Lord. So if we are not a, a man converted and in the like, likeness of Christ, then we are not part of all men that we pray. The first thing is be saved. Get the heart that is pure to see God, to be part of God, to be part of his inheritance without holiness, no man sees the Lord. So that's the first thing. Therefore, that all men pray everywhere. Whatever you are, not only on the mountains, everywhere, not only in the church, not only when you say everywhere on the plane, when you are in the ship, when you are in the car, when you are in the anywhere you are in the truck, he said everywhere, lifting up holy hands. Holy hands. To supplicate, to pray, to intercede, to offer prayer, to do thanksgiving. There must be lifting, must lift holy hand, not dirty. Check yourself. Is that hand dirty? The Bible says, who oh, we are sent to the ears of the Lord. He that have a clean hand. It's a holy hand without wrath and doubting. You will remove that bitterness. You will remove that anger. You will remove that actually offensive and then um, uh, offensive life. You will now face that you will be without doubting. No doubt. Actually, you doubt nothing. You trust the Lord. You have faith. You believe that with God, all things are possible. That all those souls they be saved. You will not be actually, you will not be in the position that you say this one cannot be saved again. No. It is possible with God. You can pray, you can supplicate, you can intercede, you can overpray and thank me, and so shall come to the kingdom in Jesus' name. Let's go to point number three surplus well being. Surplus well being for the godly. God is not only willing that you be saved and continue to live miserable life. No, He wants your well being. It's interesting. Me and you too, as evangelists, as preachers, as people that carry the word, as people of God, we should be. We should be concerned about the well-being of those who have converted to Jesus Christ. You know, we can help those uh, other one outside to, but say of them of household or uh, be hospitable, especially to them do our the household of faith. So we should be concerned about the well-being of our brethren 
in the Lord. Or that is not wrong to help other people who are not even in faith yet. You can even come them and attract them to the Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit. But more importantly, those who have converted, as we are feeding them spiritually, physically, feed them everywhere. That's why we are looking at surplus well-being for the godly. Let's go back to actually that uh, particular study in uh, Psalm 20, Psalm 28, verse 9. Save thy people, number one. Be concerned about salvation for people. Save thy people, oh Lord, he interceded and bless them, thy heritage. When you save them, you sanctify them, they have Holy Spirit now. They need to be, they need to be, to their inheritance need to be blessed. They need not to lose her because the will of God, the thought of God for us is thought of good, thought of good and not of evil to give us an expected end. So God have not evil thought. Not, not evil thought. Peace, good, peace, good, not evil. And he will give it to us in Jesus' name. He said, feed them also. Now, God is we are is praying. God feed them. Because the, 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 the good shepherd will lead the shepherd to where there is every, where they will get good flock. God is my shepherd. He lead me before still water. He feed me. He will feed me in that good pastures. Lead me um, um, be, be in the, within the pastures where I will get good food. And God, we now said, feed them also. We need our brethren, our combat, they need to be fed and they shall be fed in Jesus' name. He said, and lift them up forever. Finally, we shall not be lifted up forever unto eternity. Let's read from Psalm 34, 4 to 10. Psalm 34, from verse 4 to 10. Follow and let us read as God is helping us and encouraging us. Psalm 34, 4 unto 10. He said, I saw the Lord, that's in, so it's in prayer. He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Because he has delivered me, I have the confidence to tell him he delivered me from sin and righteousness, from all those evil I was doing. He delivered me even from my oppression of the enemy. And then, now, and all fears, they looked unto me, they looked unto him, and were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. I will look unto Jesus, because there's no hidden sin, no unrighteousness. And that, by the say they were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Verse 6, this, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of his trouble. God can save you when you cry unto the Lord. In verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamped around on them that fear him and deliver them. Can you see supplication? When you pray, God answer prayer and deliver you. Now verse 8, who taste and see? That is what we are saying. Support well-being for the godly. It's verse 8, who taste and see? The Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts him. If you have trust in him, you are saved, you trust him, you have faith, then you'll be blessed. And blessed of the Lord will continue in Jesus' name. You will not lack the word. You will not lack the food. You will not lack um, the place or shelter. You will not lack good things because um, God, who has called you, as actually is good and taste of Him. You know is good. Verse nine. Oh, fear the Lord. Ye is saints. Who is saints? Saints are those who are saved. Who have actually left the world to live a righteous life through grace in Christ. He said, Oh, the sin, for there is no want to them that fear him. Hallelujah, no want. Because you have you are, your well being being supplied, verse 10, the young lion do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want anything, any good. Thing. That is it. The were surplus will be for the godly. And the Bible eventually told us specifically in chapter 29, that 28 verse 9 that we will lift up forever. You want to be lifted up forever with us in the kingdom? Now bow down your head. If you are not saved, salvation. If you are saved, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. holiness within, which is sanctification, is separation that God do in himself. He do the circumcision inside and the Holy Spirit will come and baptize you. Then what do you do? You go out for evangelism. Praying, interceding, and calling souls that my that my people that thy people be saved. Save thy people. You will pray and we bring them to Christ and we multiply towards the kingdom. And all of us be lifted up forever. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for your love and kindness, for all you have done, for the way you have looked upon us today, that we shall be slow for interceding for soul, and all of soul will come in, and all of us eventually shall be lifted in love, Father, to the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.